Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do riders based on the theorem that states that if a line segment joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle and is parallel to the third side, then it is equal to half of the third side. Now before we do these riders, you need to make sure that you are comfortable with all your grade 10 geometry, especially the triangle riders and the triangle theorems. Now in your grade 10 work, there were two theorems that you learned. The midpoint theorem. The midpoint theorem, you were given that the sides are equal and then immediately you can tell me, okay, that it's parallel. And the next one was that you had the midpoint of one side and you had that it's parallel, so immediately you could tell me that the third side bisects. So let's look at the following one. It says that FG is parallel to DE. FG is parallel to DE. It also says that DE is parallel to BC. Then they say that AB is equal to 2 of AD. As soon as they're saying that, what are they saying? They're saying that BD is equal to AD, which if I had to take the triangle separately, and I've got A and I've got D and B, then I am saying that that is cut exactly in the middle. You also have that it's parallel. All this information is given. So immediately what can you tell me about AE and EC? AE is going to equal to EC. And the reason you're going to use, you are going to use the theorem that says midpoint of one side parallel to the third side, which is your grade 10 theorem. Because what did they give us? They gave us that a side is equal and they gave us that a side is parallel. So immediately I can say the third side is parallel midpoint of one side parallel to the other. So I'm going to say midpoint right now I have that AE is equal to EC. You can make it X and X. We've got that AB is equal to 2 of AD. So that means that this is Y and this is Y. Because that's what it did. It cut it exactly in half. Then they said 2 of AD is equal to 4 of AF. So again, what are they saying? If we know that this is AD and I know that this is now cut into 4. 2 AD is equal to 4 of AF. So it's the same thing as saying AD is equal to 2 of AF. Can you see? If AD is equal to 2 of AF, AD is equal to 2 of AF. Then that means that AF is equal to DF. If AD is equal to 2 of AF, then I've got that AF is equal to FD. Now if you take this triangle out, We've got A, F, D, and then we've got G and E. We know they parallel, and now we just found out that they are midpoints. So what would that tell me about A, G, and G, E? A, G is going to equal to G, E. Again, midpoint of one side parallel to another, parallel to the other side. So we can say that AG is equal to GE, which could be M. Let's make it M. Why M? Because they are exactly the same. And remember, we're working with unknowns. Now, if they say let AF equal to P, that would mean that PD is also equal to P. Prove that AD is equal to DB. AD is equal to DB. Now, if we have that AF is equal to FD, and they are both equal to P. Then we have that AD is equal to 2P, isn't it? If AF is equal to P, then AD is going to equal to 2P. Do you understand why? Because when you worked it out, you seen that they said here earlier, 2AD is equal to 4AF. If you mathematically use it, 2AD is equal to 4AF. And if I divide by 2, 
then I've got AD is equal to 2AF. So I've got that AD is equal to 2AF, which means that it's equal to 2P. So now I have that AD is equal to 2P. If I have that AD is equal to 2P, then AB, AB is going to equal to 2 of AD. Now, if it's equal to 2 of AD and we know that AD is equal to 2P, then I'm going to have 2 into 2P, which means it's equal to 4P. So 2 of AD is equal to 4P. So now we have, what do we have? We have that AD is 2P. We have that AB is 4P. Now if AD is 2P and AB is 4P, then that would mean DB is also equal to 2P. And therefore you can show that AD is equal to DB. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Calculate FG if BC is 44. Now if BC is 44 and we know that the triangles, let's work on this one, BC is 44. We know that it's the midpoint and it's parallel. Now from our previous theorem, it says that if it is a midpoint and it is parallel to the third side, then we know that the top line is half of the bottom line. So if the top line is half of the bottom line, then you can tell me that DE is going to equal to 22. And I'm going to use the rule midpoint theorem. Now if DE is 22, then I've got again midpoint and parallel. So I can say that FG is going to equal to 11. Again, midpoint theorem. So look at your riders, go slowly and answer the question. Okay, let's try another rider. It says in the following rider, in triangle ABC, DE is parallel to GB. Then it says that GH is 20. AG is equal to GD, which is equal to DC. Calculate the length of BH. Now if you look at the triangle B G C. If I look at this triangle, I have that they parallel and I have that they have the midpoint. Now if they parallel and they have the midpoint, I am given that they parallel and I am given that it's a midpoint. Immediately I can say that the third side is also a midpoint. And our reason is midpoint of one side parallel to the other side. So here I can say that BE is going to be equal to EC. And my reason, midpoint of one side and parallel to the other. So I now have that BE is equal to EC. But look at this other triangle. If I'm looking at triangle ADE, what can you tell me about AH and HE? AH is going to equal to HE. Again, midpoint of one side parallel to another. So I now have that AH is equal to HE. Now if they are parallel and they are the midpoints, what does our theorem state? Our theorem states that it is equal to half of the third side. If a line segment joins the midpoints of two sides and is parallel to the third side, then it is equal to half of the third side. So it is parallel and it's joining the midpoint. So what can I say about GH and DE? GH is going to equal to a half of DE. And our reason, midpoint theorem. So GH is 20, which is equal to a half of DE. So what would that make DE? DE would then equal to 40. Now I have that DE is 40. 
but I know that DE is going to equal to a half of GB. Again, midpoint theorem, looking at the yellow triangle that I've drawn here, where DC is equal to DG and BE is equal to EC, and it's given that they parallel. So we know that D is equal to half of GB. Now DE is 40, which would mean that GB is going to equal to 80. Now we have that GB is equal to 80. So the entire line is equal to 80. But what is the question? The question is calculate B H. Now if you know that G H is 20, that would mean that if I take 80, which is G B minus G H, which is equal to 20, then I would get the length of B H, which is equal to 60. So therefore, B H is equal to 60. Thank you for watching.